Hey everyone, it's Rek here and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix textures not loading issue in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 4. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best tweaks and settings to boost FPS, fix stutters and fix textures not loading issue in Fortnite. This is actually an updated version of my previous Fortnite textures fix guide because a lot of you guys have been asking me to make this video. It takes a lot of time and effort to make these videos, so a like would mean a lot to me. Also, if you're new here, welcome to the Low End Gamers Paradise. Make sure to subscribe for a 0.01% chance of you getting an RTX 3090. Well, maybe. But with all of that said, let's get this video started. I'm actually going to start by letting you guys know what the actual cause of the textures not loading issue in Fortnite is. So when you are playing Fortnite, data from drives is loaded onto your RAM and the CPU starts to work on the physics or framework of the game such as calculations, movements, etc. and at the same time your CPU contacts your GPU to render all of the graphical stuff. Storage, RAM, CPU and GPU, any one of these which cannot perform its part of the process in time can be the cause of the issue. And you will know what I mean as we move along with the video. So that's just the cause of the issue, what is the solution? Well that's what I am here for. Starting out with disabling shader cache on your GPU. Shader Cache stores cache files in order to allow your PC to load data faster, which at first will load up everything faster as intended, but after some time it will turn around and drag down your PC performance. It's really noticeable if you're using a mechanical hard drive and not an SSD. So if you're using an SSD then you might just want to leave it on, but here's how you can disable it. So go to your desktop and right click on it, then go ahead and go to the NVIDIA control panel. Once the NVIDIA control panel opens up, under adjust image settings with preview, make sure that you are on use the advanced 3D settings and then click on take me there. Once you are here, make sure that you are on the global settings tab and then scroll down till you find shader cache. Once you find it, simply go ahead and set it to off, then hit apply and then you can close out of it. Since I don't have an AMD graphics card, I'm going to leave a link to their official website article on how to disable shader cache on AMD graphics card down below in the description. So just go ahead and follow along with that and then you should be good to go. You can also watch this video on how to optimize your NVIDIA control panel for the best gaming performance. I will leave the link down below in the description so be sure to check it out as well. So once you have successfully disabled the shader cache, go down into the description and download the Fortnite Textures Fix Pack by Regnetic. This pack contains different optimizations which will tremendously help you in fixing the textures not loading issue in Fortnite Battle Royale. So once you guys have downloaded the pack, just go ahead and simply extract it with 7-zip or WinRAR. And once the pack is extracted, go ahead and open it up. Then go into the first folder, that is the cache cleaner, and simply run it as administrator. It will remove all of the cache files from your system which are useless and are no longer used by the windows. Not only clearing up some space, but boosting the performance of your PC as well. This can take some time depending on the amount of cache you have, so be patient about that. Once the cache cleaner is done, then go back into the pack again and this time go into the Fortnite process priority. Now here a lot of people might already be using the high priority, if so then use the Fortnite normal priority but if you're using a normal priority then use the high priority. Simply what I mean is that you should be switching between both of these to see which one works better for you. So to apply these just right click on them and click on merge then hit yes, yes and ok. Go back into the pack again and this time go into the one clicker. The functions and the credit for the one clicker are in this notepad so just go ahead and open it up and read it if you want to know more about it. But to run it just simply right click on it and run it as admin. Hit yes and then press any key to continue. Press any key again and it will start its work by creating a system restore point beforehand. Press any key again and then press any key every time it asks. So now the whole process is complete and now you can go back into the pack. Then go into the registry optimization fixes and apply all of these registries. Keep in mind that all of these registry files are revertible and all the default files are provided within the pack. So go ahead and apply all of these registry files. 
These two registry files depend on your PC spec, so go ahead and apply them according to your PC specifications. Once all of that is done, you can simply close out of the pack and we can move along to the next step. Increasing the textures quality can also help you fix textures not rendering issue. Increasing the textures quality forces your GPU to render more details in less time, which in some cases can prove really useful. I do not recommend using epic textures as it will cause massive FPS drops, but setting the textures to medium or high might work in your favor. Just keep in mind to use this as a last resort if nothing else fix your issue because it will lower your FPS. Another setting you can change in Fortnite is the DirectX version. I see too many people not using DX12 even though it supports their GPU. I think it's because of the fact that DX12 used to cause stutters, lags and crashes in the previous seasons but now in chapter 2 season 4, DX12 is working perfectly as it should be. So there really is no excuse for you to not give it a try. People using DX12 can get a lot smoother gameplay experience and it can help you textures not loading issue as well as audio cutouts. It will not help each and every one of you but really it's worth giving it a shot. Capping your FPS is the easiest, simple and most effective way of fixing the textures not loading issue. Now a lot of you guys might say that we don't want to cap our FPS, ok listen to me here. Even I myself don't want to cap my FPS and play on higher frames, but it comes with the issue of textures not loading in most of the times. The thing is that your GPU focuses more on pumping out those 200 or 300 frames and fails to render the details in the short amount of time that it's given. By capping the FPS, it will give you the consistent frames and also move resources to rendering the details inside of the game. So it's highly recommended that you guys cap your FPS if you are facing the textures not loading issue. So to do that, go down to your start menu and type in run. Then go ahead and open it up and inside of here, type percentage, local, app data, percentage and hit OK. Once this folder opens up, go into the Fortnite game, saved, config, windows client and then right click on game user settings. Go down to properties and make sure that this read only box is unchecked. Hit apply, ok and right click on it again. Click on edit and then press the control plus F key to open the find box. Inside of here type frame rate F R A M E R A T E frame rate and then click on find next. Once you find this frame rate limit. Set its value according to the average FPS you get or to your monitor's refresh rate. For most of the people, I recommend setting it to 60 but if you guys get a lot higher FPS or play on a 144 or 240Hz monitor then you can change this value to your liking. But once you have changed the frame rate limit value, scroll all the way down till you find the scalability groups. So once you are on the scalability groups, set all of these settings to 0 except for the first one of course. So after setting all of these settings to 0, just go ahead and hit file, hit save and now you can close out of here. By capping your FPS, you will see great improvements in the textures loading process in Fortnite. Using an SSD will fix the problem as it has faster data transfer speeds as compared to a mechanical hard drive. If you use an SSD, you can also cap your FPS at higher values because you don't have to worry about the textures not loading problem. This might actually be the only fix for some of you guys watching who are using a really old hard drive. Mechanical hard drive lose performance over time and will eventually die. SSDs have longer lifespans and more performance so be sure to look into buying an SSD soon. You will see great improvements in textures render while using an SSD. You can also watch this video of the comparison between a hard drive and an SSD with Fortnite benchmarks. I will leave the link down below in the description. Next up we are going to be disabling the high precision event timer or HPET service. What HPET does is that it produces an interrupt at a higher resolution for the smoother playback experience which can cause some really high input delay on low end hardware. So to disable it go down to your start menu and search for device manager. Go ahead and open it up and once the device manager opens up, just simply go ahead and go down to system devices. 
Once you are inside of here, look for the high precision event timer and right click on it. Then after that, click on disable device and then click on yes. And now you have successfully disabled the HPET service so you can close out of here. Moving on from there, go down into your start menu and click on the settings icon. Once it opens up, go into the gaming tab and make sure that game bar is turned off and this is also unchecked. Then go down to game mod and make sure that game mod is set to on. Under the related settings, click on graphics settings and we are going to be adding Fortnite inside of here. So to do that, click on browse and then navigate to the drive where you installed Fortnite. For most of the people, it will be C, program files, epic games and then Fortnite inside of there. But for me, it's E, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64 and then once you are inside of here, click on the first.exe application file which has the largest file size as well and then click on add. Since I have already added it, so it's already here. Once you add it, click on the options and then set it to high performance. Hit save and then go back to the settings. This time go into the privacy setting and make sure that everything in general is turned off. Speech is also turned off. Inking and typing personalization, turn it off. Diagnostic and feedback, make sure that everything here is turned off as well and delete the diagnostic data. Then go down again into the activity history and uncheck everything here. Click on clear to clear the activity history. Then for all of these, this is all personal preference but I recommend you guys to turn off as much things as you can. Then go down to background apps and make sure that all of these are turned off except for some of these that you might be using especially Nvidia or AMD related. So just leave them on and turn everything else off. And after that, you can go ahead and close out of these settings. Next up, we are going to disable full screen optimization. Disabling full screen optimizations can really help you by using desktop composition. So to do that, go down to your start menu once again and this time search for this PC. Go ahead and open it up and then navigate to Fortnite again. Go into Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64 and scroll till you find these four applications with the Fortnite logo on them. Right click on the first one again and then click on properties. Once the properties open up, go into the compatibility tab and make sure disable full screen optimizations is checked. Hit apply, hit ok and now you have successfully disabled the full screen optimizations. So yeah guys that was it for this video, I really hope that it fixed all of your issues that you were having with textures in Fortnite and if this video helps you guys in any way shape or form be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel for future videos. Also make sure to connect with me on Twitter and be sure to join the discord server as well. We have a really great community there which is always ready to help anyone in need. So yeah be sure to check that out and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then stay awesome. Oh, oh, oh.